Hello friends, in this video I'm going to discuss from recursion to divide and conquer. The problem is largest rectangle in histogram. This video assume you watched my previous video. If you don't if you if you didn't watch and you have any question in this video, you go to my blog go recursion.com then you click algorithm you will find the previous video and uh, I recommend you watch at least uh, those video first then you watch those one because those assume you have watched those video so let's go back to our problem here as usual we start with brute force by using the recursion method so brute force method will check every possible range for example we start range to from 0 to 4 we get the maximum area that's the minimum value 2 times the number of the element that's 10 2 times 10 then next we recursively using same strategy we remove one from right side remove one from left side which means the recurrent tree here we will check the range 0 to 3 that's still 2 times 4 that's 8 then we check 1 to 4 that's 8 1 to 4 here the range that's 8 so for each sub problem here we will keep doing the same until we reach the leaf node here the correctness will be guaranteed because we evaluate every possible range so the time complexity uh, the no number of nodes is due to the ends times how can we get the minimum value in a given range we can check one by one so that's n so this is the time complexity if as you can see this sub problem is exactly same so we can use in memorizing so that's n square times n if we use memorizing it's n cube it's much this is much better than this one by using memorizing so if you don't know what is memorizing you check my previous video okay Now, if we look at this, we will find as long as the minimum value was not removed, this node, the value will be guaranteed less than this one because this, the minimum value are same. This one times 5 will be larger than 2 times 4. So here is our eager version of brutal force. Instead of remove one by one each time, we we remove the minimum from right side, remove minimum from left side each time. The correctness will be guaranteed because we know the node like this will be guaranteed less than this we are looking for maximum so we can ignore that as you can see we divide by minimum this recurrent tree here will be smaller than this one so this is our divide and conquer solution each time we get the minimum index we calculate the area that's 
the value here times the length. Next, we divide by minimum. So we go to the left and we go to the right. We use the same strategy. At the end, we return the maximum value of those three values. So that's the divide and conquer solution. It's very easy to understand. The only problem is how can we get the minimum value in a given range. Once e one simple solution would be scanned from left to right one by one. Another one, we can build a minimum index array at beginning. Each time we just return, this take constant time, all the one time to return the minimum value. So time complexity would be n square. This here will be using dynamic programming to build the in minimum index array. So if you don't understand this code, you check my previous video. The idea is same. Use dynamic programming to build the array. This is a two-dimensional two dynamic programming. Okay. So the total time complexity would be n square plus n log n. That's all the n square. Okay. Because this one is less than two n square. Now can we do better? Yes. We we can use an we can use segment tree. Segment tree, you can get minimum value in all log, order of log n time. You build the tree in order n. But this video, I'm not going to discuss the detail about the segment tree. If you don't know how segment tree works, you can check this video later. But the purpose of this video, we are focused on uh, how to from the recursion measure go to recursion or go to divide and conquer. So at beginning I will build recur build segment tree which take all the n then next using divide and conquer solution. Each time take log n time to get the minimal index here. So if you submit this solution on lead code on a charge, you will get an error. That's because the stack overflow. Because those recursion core, those recurrent core take take too much stack so we need optimize further let's go back to this problem here ideally if you use a divide and conquer each time you want to divide the problem at the middle that's the best case but for a input a large, large input, you will get a lot of segments like this. It's easy keep keep increase or decrease for this range, for example. Then next, if you divide, you are not divide at middle, you divide at here. That's the worst case. For this example, you divide here. That's the worst case. But for a problem like this, the if the in a certain range, it will it just keep increase or decrease. That will help us actually. For example, in let's focus on this range here. This range, it just increase. You just need to check this 
area here and uh, this area here and and this area here you don't need to check the area some like this you don't need to check because this this area will be guaranteed less than the whole area here so we can use that property if it in a range it just increase or decrease actually we can finish it as in all the n times because you just check this range here and this range and this range just check three times it's it's better than divide and conquer solution and log n so our optimization will use that property here use that property here we get the minimum if the minimum is on the left side or on the right side we calculate that area using this minimum times the length then if the minimum on the left side we shift the range which we plus the left point if on the right side we plus the right side so this is order n then you otherwise we keep keep this loop otherwise when this loop ended and this is not true it will using recur recurrent divide and conquer so if you submit this version online it will pass it will pass little code on my judge as you can see this is a simple change here it make big difference actually if you search online for this problem you will find a stack solution the stack solution is comes from this idea actually if the input is increase or decrease only you can utilize that property to optimize this problem okay this is our introduction from recursion to divide and conquer thank you for watching you can check my blog for more information thank you